In this video, I'll explain a simple approach to simulate a current controlled three phase grid integrated system using hysteresis pulse width modulation. I'll briefly explain in the end how you can easily extend this simulation model for achieving various objectives like droop control or power sharing strategy among multiple grid connected or standalone microgrids. I'm not building the simulation model step by step to keep the video short and focus more on concepts. Instead, I have uploaded the simulation file on MATLAB Central. You can download it from there. Uh, okay, let's start. First, we will uh, write this code which contains all the parameters required in simulation to avoid updating these values again and again in each block. When we change any system parameter, we are using this code. System frequency, base voltage, switching frequency uh, and filter parameters etc are given. Let's run this code so that these values get stored in the workplace which can uh, then further be utilized in the simulation. Here these are the stored values. Let's start with the grid. Here we have three blocks to represent an equivalent grid which is three phase source, three phase measurement block and a three phase R load. In three phase source, we have given uh, V base and frequency as input. These values are already stored in workplace. In three phase VA measurement block, we have taken the voltage and current output in the form of label. These labels then can be used like this in a uh, from block. Uh, to take these outputs. Now in the microgrid I use DC voltage source. It can be any DC power source like PV plant or energy storage etc. These six IGBT switches are used for building the inverter. LC filter is designed using series RLC branch to form the L component of the filter. and delta connected capacitor load is used for C component. The parameters used here F, V base, PC, QC and the parameters in L, RNL, RL and L are already stored in workspace. All the loads in microgrid and grid, utility grid are R type. This is just for an easy demonstration of the calculation of reference current. Later you can use the simulation for any type of load according to your objective. Three phase breaker is used for connecting the utility grid with the microgrid. Now let's come to the most important part which is controlling. This block generates switching pulses using hysteresis pulse width modulation and this input signal is used as a reference. In this block, the three phase inverter output current waveforms are compared with the three phase reference current waveforms. Relay block is used to compare both signals. If the difference between both signals goes beyond minus 0.1 to 0 0.1 the relay block fires a pulse otherwise the output remains zero. Six pulses are generated from this block for six IGBT switches. Now let's see how the reference signal is generated. This block requires three input signals to generate reference signals. The first is phase of sinusoidal waveforms. Second is the peak value for sinusoidal waveforms. And the third is the phase difference from reference. For phase and frequency detection, we use PLL block. This. And we use grid current waveforms to extract the phase of those waveforms. Second. Uh, third, we don't want any phase difference for now, so we are giving zero to the third input. And the second input, which is the magnitude peak value of the current, 
This is the most interesting part. This value decides the amount of power injected by our DC source into the grid. Let's understand how we calculate this. The amount of power injected at PCC by inverter is equal to P under root 3 VL PCC into IL injected here by the inverter into cos theta. Uh, as we are only considering our load, so cos theta will be is equals to 1 because theta will be is equals to 0. Well, this is an approximation and this will give uh, small errors. But anyway, this is just for demonstration. You can consider uh, these things in your objectives and you will get the exact results. So the P injected will be under 3 VLPCC into IL injected. Now let's take two cases, case 1 and case 2. Here we will consider only one load of 3 kilowatt and in second case we will take a 6 kilowatt load. So here if you will calculate the IL injected, it will be calculated using, uh, calculated using this formula. But remember that uh, we want the peak of the current uh, to give uh, it as input in the uh, in that uh, coding function. So for first it is 11.5 and for load of 600 watt, this is 22.64. This 100 watt uh, load is additional for filter. Uh, some amount of power will also be consumed in inductor but however this is an uh, this is just for visualization purpose so you will get uh, very close results now let's run the simulation for the two cases for which we have calculated the reference current the first case for the first case we are adding only 3 kilowatt load so let's keep this zero and the time for this is also 2 seconds. So only 3 kilowatt load is attached. Let's run. Uh, and we have also given it as uh, the reference current as 11.5 as we have calculated. Okay, let's run this. Oh, this is the power output of inverter. We are taking V inverter which is voltage and this is the current of inverter and we are calculating power from these values. So here we can see that the power output is 3 kilowatt exactly as required now let's uh, check it for the second case let's connect one more load with value of 3 kilowatt so now the total load is three, uh, 6 kilowatt and the reference for this was 22.64 The power output from inverter is uh, 6000 as required. Now one more thing that you can extend this model by incorporating droop control for reference current generation here at this place and get the desired power according to the fluctuations in grid. Uh, assume a situation where the three phase source is not swing but PV type. Hence it will maintain its terminal voltage and power output irrespective of load change and in that situation the grid frequency will drop this drop is linearly dependent on load change using this relation we can detect the power requirement and using this power requirement we can generate a reference current so if you still need uh, more visualization write it in the comment i will upload a separate video on that thanks